Hey friends, welcome. It's another, another day, another meat replacement product. We're back with Beyond Meat again. Beyond Beef Feisty Crumbles. So we're gonna make some pretty basic, and I mean basic tacos here. Got some slaw that Amy made up last night. We're gonna put on there. I got some guac or some avocado sliced up there. Gonna add these, and then I've got some uh, mushrooms. Just about finished up here. So I'm gonna try it. See how it is. Hopefully it's good. Also, I'm gonna do some Mexican street style corn in there. I love cooking corn in the microwave. It's really quick. I like to grill it better, but I don't want to go out and grill today. So let's cook it. Okay guys, so pre-cooked it looks like it looks like frozen pieces of taco meat in there and it It smells like taco meat, so it said put some oil in there, let it heat up a little bit, and then Woo! stir it around for a bit. I'm gonna have to clean my lens after that. Goodness. Okay, so cooking this, it smells incredibly like seasoned taco meat and textures there it looks like crumbled up taco meat now i think i'm gonna fall for that whole thing i did yesterday where i think i might have cooked it too long just because i'm not used to cooking this type of food it only said to cook it for three minutes so if you're looking for quick stuff this is evidently it so we'll let that sit for another minute and then I'll build a taco and we're going to see how it tastes. Alright, so there is my little test finished product. So what do we got? We got some of the Beyond Meat crumbles on there, some salsa, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of avocado, and some of Amy's slaw that she mixed up yesterday. Let's, uh, let's roll it up and see what we got here. Okay, so... I've already encountered my first problem of every time I make tacos at home, it drips out the back end. So here we go. There's Mercy. Okay. So the taste is there. It tastes like uh, it tastes like taco meat, but texture is weird. You can definitely tell that's more plant based. It's not quite as fresh tasting as their brat or their burger, but it's still not bad. Um, only drawback is, is that little, I could make about two pounds worth of ground beef for the same price as the crumbles. That's the biggest drawback, I think. Taste-wise though, it's okay. I mean, I would eat it, I would eat it again. I'm gonna eat more of it anyway, so. It's not bad, it's pretty good. Beyond me. You've got a fan. I'm really digging this stuff. You know, when we when we end Lent and we go back to eating meat, may actually decide to grab a couple of these every once in a while just to mix it up and, and not have beef or pork or whatever we're using, especially taco nut. Anyway, so it's another interesting one. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you guys on our next uh, meatless adventure probably. Probably tomorrow, actually. So, we'll see you guys then. See ya.